Hello, everyone. This is Captain Sweep having the very secret plan, Planetary Guardians uh, podcast of the day. We'll try to make it five minutes, keep it short, but you know that I may have a, a lot to say because I went to the protest yesterday and it was probably the best protest I think I may have ever gone to. I'm not sure, maybe between five and 10,000 people, it seemed like 10,000. My uh, partner said three to 5,000, but I doubt that. And, uh, but she's very uh, strong about that. So what can I say about it? For me, it's, I always want more. I always think that the crowd does the same thing. They start somewhere and they have these speeches and then they march somewhere and then they have these speeches and then they go home. And I've watched this for, I don't know, 20, 25 years, filmed a lot of it. And I I kept filming, you know, these protests and it was always doing the same thing. You get these speakers and then you walk and go over there from city hall to the provincial legislature or provincial legislature to city hall. The in Victoria, usually start at city hall and go to the provincial legislature. They they weren't that far apart. It was a good March. And I swear I did like two a week for uh, months, years, maybe beginning i was pretty hyped Uh, but at the end it was the same thing over and over and over again and so i i just wonder if uh we could do something different you know because there's this line in the sand there's this line that marks where you can be versus where you can't be and so the cops are very aware of this line and they always maneuver the group around where they go. It's I've, except for Occupy, I've never seen a group go outside the lines. And the thing is in order to actually protest, in order to make a stand, in order to show your power as the people, there has to be a time where you go over the line. There has to be a time where you are questioning the authority that, is governing the jurisdiction of of where you are. And we are doing that at the federal level, we are doing it at the provincial level, we are doing that at the municipal level in terms of these vaccination passports and what we are allowed to do and not to. Because from my point of view and what I hear, like this is completely against the law. They're not allowed to do this, but they're still doing it. They're doing it in ways which sound like They can get away with it because they have so much power and because the corporate media is such a lapdog for them. Like I, when I was reading the global's uh, interpretation of yesterday and seeing what information they put forward, seeing what occurred, seeing what the big issues are, it, it almost makes me ill, the corporate media. And for the people out there, Like, it just seems that, I don't know, maybe 80%, 90% of people will just go along with whatever the government and the corporate media says. And you don't even understand, or they don't understand, that they are completely asleep, completely, to the sequence of events that have been occurring to get us to now. The interpretation of those events, even if you looked at them, and then looking at the broader political events that are occurring all across the world in every country as this end game takeover and Orwellian manifestation that is going to change the lives of our children and many generations forever if we don't do something now. And so it's sometimes it's, it's, it's very hard to fathom when you, when you believe you understand something to listen and to watch and observe the masses or most of the people fall for the spell, fall for the story, fall for the controlled narrative of what something is. And it, that never takes into account the facts, the true facts, the facts that are never allowed to be presented now because they're fact-checked or they're censored i have never ever ever 
experience the degree of censorship that is happening right now. And I know it's happening again all across the world. And so the line in the sand is between those that are sort of awake to the situation versus asleep. And I must say that if you've taken the vaccination, you are more than likely asleep because the amount of evidence coming out that are saying it's not a vaccine and saying that the data that they used to say that people are dying is not true. Um, so many things which have been said are not true. And now because you've been duped, let's say, you're gonna defend yourself. It's much easier to uh, fool someone than to show them how duped they are, as they say in these memes. Anyway, that's probably enough for today. But I just like to put a message out to the world and say that if you're alone, if you're surrounded by friends that are vaxxed and are pressuring you to get vaxxed, send me a message. Um, I think Planetary Guardians is an organization that could use you. And uh, I think we need to start to organize ourselves and defend ourselves. And this is Captain Sweep with the very secret plan message of the day and giving you encouragement and saying that you're on the right track and uh we have to self-organize we have to get good at doing our own media and to present the facts in a manner that we can all digest and understand together so much love to you all and uh we'll see you tomorrow